Welcome back to Baba Chuck 14 and today it's my birthday video and see this big box over here as usual my wife gave me this surprise and she is amazing and I love her so much and we're here to unbox this big box because this is really awesome as you can see for comparison you have my friend rat trap over here and you see how big this box is so I'm really excited so let's get to it and unbox this big box so what's inside the box wow it's upside down so as you can see it's another big box so we are still continuing with our masters of the universe week and as you can see it's a really big box and this is the masters of the universe origins castle grayskull playset i'm excited to get this thing out of the box let's check it out so here it is and i got this from tftoys.ca so it's a canadian toy company which they also sell a lot of other lines from Hasbro like Transformers, G.I. Joe, you name it and they have it. So check out tftoys.ca which I commend them because they I ordered it online and they have a lot of bubble wrap or so it doesn't get damaged when it gets to your house. So that out of the way. So it's time to open it up. I'll take it from the bottom. Wow, I never had a Castle Grayskull as a kid. So here is the box within the box. And boy, the artwork is amazing. Isn't the artwork beautiful? Yes, I am even amazed with how awesome the artwork on this one is. Castle Grayskull, Masters of the Universe. Wow, what an amazing artwork. And for comparison, we'll bring in big guy titans return scorponox if you want to check out unboxing for this guy i'll leave a link here so check him out so as you can see well this guy is a little bit taller than the box itself so you can see how big the box is and how big scorponox is Let's take him down before we take a look at the rest of the box and all the amazing artwork it's time to Hashtag support Filipino vloggers and the first one shout out to the first channel that want, I want you to check out Aliyah Salams, a mother and daughter they are in the Middle East and the mother wants to chronicle or vlog about her very beautiful daughter so check out their vlogs, their videos in the description box below really amazing channel and the second one that I want you to check out is Familian Bilog, it's a really fun channel and they introduced Pokey to the group of I Love C and they are really funny and one of their latest videos was a haircut tutorial you should check out their channel links in the description box below and last but definitely not the least is another fellow Saskatchewan vlogger and their channel is Leil Luceros so I think I said that right and their channel is about their family vlogs, travels, food adventures and all of that other stuff check out their channel it's a really great channel links in the description box below so now we've got the hashtag support filipino vloggers i want you to support them and check them out as we are gonna check out the box here we are and check out artwork of castle grayskull you have he-man and skeletor fighting and you have Zor the sorceress and as you can see here it's a special edition sorceress that comes with this Castle Grayskull so it's so it's awesome that it still includes a sorceress and yes it has a lot of other languages because this is an international edition of the Castle Grayskull and it says over here as well it's unassembled so there might be a little bit of assembly that's needed to be done in here really awesome you got all the other characters man-at-arms merman Trap Jaw, Tila, Beast Man, Many Faces, Stratus, and you have Zodak, and then you have Evelyn, Triclops, and you have Ram Man. It's amazing, really amazing. On the top, you have Castle Grayskull and all the features that comes with the Castle Grayskull. 
and then on the side you still have continuation of the artwork with Battle Cat and Panther over here they are fighting and then on the box you have that product shot of Castle Grayskull so and all the other characters of the Masters of the Universe Origins really really awesome throwback because this is pattern for the retro Masters of the Universe and then on the bottom it's just the Castle Grayskull and another product shot of Castle Grayskull and on the side you still have all other artwork you have Fisto fighting with a demon here forces of Skeletor Castle Grayskull and as you can see I'm really excited to get this thing out so here's everything that comes in the box so I'll be moving in and out of the camera a bunch of times because this thing is really big so yeah this is what it meant from some assembly required so there's a bunch of stuff here that needs assembly so I will be assembling them and then I'll show you the whole figure and all the awesome features of Castle Grayskull I think there will be an instruction sheet over here so we'll open up the baggies so the first thing here got a bunch of weapons and then this flag then we have uh, some la a ladder wooden planks you have this one you have a throne you have this training mojo you have a rack for weapons both are racks for weapons and then let's open this and you have a sticker sheet over here so apply the stickers and then you have your instruction sheet on how to assemble this whole thing as you can see and of course we'll be taking a look at the sorceress then the second one here so computer console then another floor and then the last baggie is the biggest one let's see what's inside you have another computer console you have think floor then another bunch of floors and let's go and get this thing assembled and before we take a look at the assembled castle grayskull the first one we'll look at is the figure that's included in the set here she is the sorceress and she's the keeper of castle grayskull as you have seen in the cartoon but this is a special edition just like the old toy that came with the old castle grayskull it was all in white that's why the sorceress is all dressed in white we may get an individually sold sorceress in her classic blue and orange costume so that's it and then this is prince adam so you can see the scale it's really awesome how they just like all the other figures nowadays that the scale is pretty good the male figures are bigger than the female ones and just like the regular male or the individually sold male figures these females are also interchangeable so if you have other female masters of the universe figures you can interchange them with Evelyn, Tila or whoever and the nice thing about the sorceress is she has foldable wings so you can display her with her wings folded up or folded down depends on your preference and it's really nice how that transparent white plastic shows up here really really awesome figure so taking a look at her head sculpt she looks really nice the paint details is really good looking at the falcon head as you can see the painted eyes on the falcon and for articulation her head can turn but it's really limited due to this on the back of the figure because of the wings but she can look down and she can look up and then her arms can do the 360 then can move out that far she has elbow swivel and a 90 degree bend on their elbow same with the hand you got up and down movement as well as a swivel on the hand as well and then she also has waist swivel as i've shown and then she can kick forward that far and her back movement 
is limited by the wings and her knees have a 90 degree bend still have the same ankle rocker movement so for the ankles the sorceress stands pretty good and is easily balanced so she has this her power staff as well so she looks really nice and now we've taken a look at the sorceress let's bring in some other figures as well another female figure with wings so you have the wasp over here from the marvel legends so really nice comparison for female figures and then let's bring in a transformer alito one from the netflix series and last but not the least is scarlet from the gi joe line gi joe classified line and there we have scarlet so four women girl power and then that's it for the comparisons for the sorceress with all the other female figures in my collection so it's time for sorceress to bring us to castle grayskull and here's rat trap bringing you the fully assembled castle grayskull and i want to show you how tall this is so this figure would stand at the height of 20 or 19 feet up to here so that's pretty big one and we'll bring in my big buddy here Scorponok just for comparison and as you can see how big this guy is well it's Scorponok still towers over him but it's pretty good scale for both of these figures so that's Scorponok and the nice thing about Castle Grayskull is you can fold it up like this and you can carry it around like a attach a case because it's got this handle over here where you can carry around and you can put your figures inside of this and it's very sturdy and it's very nice carrying case for all your figures it's really awesome so how to open up castle risco you just have these two latches over here and then when you open it up or when you close it up you have these two slots that will go into the holes here so that it's lined up when you close it up and now it's time to reveal and open up castle grayskull but before that so it's gonna fold up that way and i want to show you how to open the drawbridge for castle grayskull so in the old cartoon of the masters of the universe skeletor and he-man were in a fight to get both halves of the power source so they can combine them together to gain power and access to Castle Grayskull. So both of these swords can come together and make one whole sword. But the one with Prince Adam is already a whole sword. So let's use this. And how to get into the Castle Grayskull. So it's really cool because just like in the throwback to the cartoon how to get inside is you need the power sword and the power sword will open the drawbridge which is really awesome and bring in prince adam here to show you how it looks like when he opens the drawbridge or is going in the drawbridge that's how he looks like and bringing in the sorceress as well that's how she would look like when she goes in front of the entrance of Castle Grayskull and that's it for the comparison it's time I show you what's inside Castle Grayskull by turning this thing around and revealing its awesomeness so you do have this throne room or this seat for the throne and we'll try to put the sorceress in but the thing is with her wings she doesn't sit on it that well so she's like floating on it but let's put in a male figure like Skeletor he can sit in there nice and easy And there's also foot pegs here in this chair so the holes on the feet can be pegged onto them. 
and you see Skeletor fits in there very nicely. And then... So showing off all these other features of the Castle Grayskull, you have these little flags all over the castle. You have all these awesome computer screens here, which is really awesome. And you have the battle turret, which if you put Prince Adam here, there's a hole and there's a peg for his foot and you can put him here so he can hold the gun turret to defend against the evil forces of Skeletor. So if you turn it around like this, that's how it's gonna look like for He-Man or Prince Adam. Opening this up again. So let's say for example Skeletor invades or was able to get into Castle Grayskull. So he will be standing here. Really cool features of this castle. And then the sorceress is sitting and she is threatened by Skeletor. So how do you think she can escape from Skeletor? You just twist the throne around like this, which will in turn open up the trap door and Skeletor falls down to his demise and really awesome for this trapdoor configuration. A lot of play features for this awesome Castle Grayskull and then another one is if you have Prince Adam over here and he wants to get to the second floor. It's really awesome as you have this thing which you can pull and this thing would serve as an elevator for your figures to get to the second floor. Really awesome. And then of course, let's not forget the accessories. This one comes with a ladder which you can store here. Because there's two slots here where you can peg in the ladder. And then there's also holes here which the ladder you can use it for the guy to go upstairs to the towers and then for He-Man to train he's got this training wheel or training configuration to fight against when he's not defending Eternia from the evil forces of Skeletor and then you also have two weapon racks for the weapons so this one I've shown you in the beginning of the video the weapons so you can store them there or you can store them here so if you have power sword you can put it here so this is a really fun figure and if you see this wow you should grab it because it's a really fun addition to your collection and it's not just for he-man and the masters of the universe but this playset you can use it for any other line in your collection because this is compatible with the Transformers. You can have Lord Megatron sit on the throne over here. He fits really well. It's probably what I'm gonna do with my Transformers. Or you can have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as well inside the castle Grayskull. This is a really awesome set. I cannot stress enough how awesome this is i really love this set and this is a lot of fun when you have the castle gray skull so yes happy birthday to me so you're probably wondering where are the three magic words so here they are list them down but it's not the first one who will get to win but the fifth one the 10th one and the 20th one are the winners for 200 Gcash or $5. So get to it. So I will announce who is the number 5, number 10, and number 20th commenter with a correct magic word. So that has been my review for Castle Grayskull. So thank you guys for watching my birthday video. Thank you for all your support. And thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, click on the subscribe button. And as always, Enjoy life 
celebrate life, be a miracle, and you have the power.